Here is the seventh uh, frame of brood. So we have seven frames of brood in the lower box and seven frames in the upper box. Hello, I am Mihai Rus from Stuparul.ro. Thank you for uh, being here on my uh, channel. Today is the 28th of uh, March 2020. I uh, came in the apiary to, of course, uh, verify uh, the, the hives to see if they need uh, more space. Uh, also, I am going to uh, move the bees in um, recently disinfected uh, hives. So they start uh, the season uh, in uh, disinfected hives. I uh, use uh, fire uh, gas flame to disinfect them. Uh, last week was a, was a cold week. Um, you see here the hive with a scale. I had um, 1 kilo 250 grams uh, minus this week. Just yesterday it was a little bit uh, warmer and they, uh, they had a plus uh, 150 grams. This is the hive I usually uh, show you. It was shown also last week. You see that uh, we have a lot of bees um, after the separator. Let's see also the other hive with uh, two engines which I have on this position. It is also a, a quite a powerful uh, hive. It's just full of bees also outside the nest. This one was for sure scratched, unkept, but they have not moved it. I am moving the frames in the new box. Okay, let's see what we got here. I don't remember uh, how many frames I have given them for laying. This should be a pollen frame, but we already have uh, eggs and a little bit of kept brood and old larva this was I think empty it's full of uh, larva so I think we have two four six seven frames of brood uh, I'm looking for a frame with kept brood and I'm going to steal it. This is very young larva. The hive looks very, very nice. In one week, I think the uh, harvest of the I hope I'm uh, pronouncing okay, rape, or uh, in French it's uh, colza. Look, we have uh, a little bit of uh, nectar which is uh, brought, uh, which was brought today from outside. You see this all, uh, this uh, nectar which is uh, jumping out of the, the frame. The frame is really nice. I'm going to uh, give it directly to the next uh, weak hive which I have here in the row. Here we have six frames of, uh, of brood. I'm going to give, uh, give it uh, two frames uh, to extend. So I'm moving all the frames inside the new box. Another frame of kept brood. Another one, this is hatching. Another one. 
So these three frames, they might uh, hatch next week. So uh, there will be population to um, to have a full box. For now, we have ten frames of bees. Um, six are with um, with brood and uh, four with uh, honey. I will give them uh, two more empty um, empty frames, and I will. Uh, um, we'll have a full box. This is what I'm going to do also uh, for the box uh, and the family beneath it. Just uh, look what we have in the lower box. These bees are crazy. They are developing very quickly. They have started to uh, build um, comb for uh, um, male males I just had an empty <laughs> slot here um, I'm going to take a brood uh, cap brood frame also from this uh, family and then um, change it in a new box uh, a new bottom and um, make it full with uh, frames and uh, then I will stock the other family on top uh, as it was uh, before look where the queen has uh, arrived here is a, a frame of uh, uh, new pollen but she is also laying I think if we wait long enough we will uh, see her lay an egg so it is one frame of brood two three four five six uh, six frames of brood at least here And she started to lay on the seventh, but it, it was full with uh, uh, pollen, so she did not have space. This is a um, young uh, brood. Okay, this is my frame of uh, solid. Uh, um, capped brood you see that it's uh, uh, square this I will take out and uh, make a present to a smaller hive and if you can see here they have uh, grown a comb for males and we already have laid uh, uh, larva male larva here so I will take them, clean them and eat them to get uh, uh, energy so I can finish this uh, uh, apiary visit. You can uh, make a, a product, a, bee, a hive product out of it. It's called mm -hmm. Apilarnil and it's, uh, it's a product for uh, people who go to the uh, gym to uh, grow mass, muscular uh, mass and it gives you a lot of uh, energy. I'm going to to get this uh, frame in a, uh, a smaller hive. Uh, so I'm cleaning uh, I'm cleaning beneath because the next uh, enlargement will be with a full box underneath these two boxes. And I, I feel that uh, next week we are going to to make this uh, extension. Let's see what is what it is on this first frame. I'm really curious. <laughs> Here is the seventh uh, frame of brood. So we have seven frames of brood in the lower box and seven frames in the upper box. Of course, uh, now uh, I have stolen uh, one, uh, one frame from each uh, family. So they remain with uh, six frames of uh, brood. So we give them honey here. Mm. 
We can exchange the boxes now. There is no problem to to extend uh, to full box when they gather on top of the frames I just give them something to work with a high life syrup I would have given more space if uh, uh, next week uh, we would have uh, had the warm weather but we don't so uh, I'm going just to leave them like this for another week and now we do not need uh, uh, the newspaper the unification was already made so we just put on top the other family by next week uh, the three frames of uh, cap brood from each family will uh, pack uh, these two uh, boxes and I will need to add another one to give space for the family. Okay, and another two frames of honey here. I put back the patty to be finished and I will not add any more patty because now we will have a lot of pollen from, uh, from nature. Yeah, so this is, this is what I'm, uh, I'm doing in this period. I'm trying to uh, balance a bit the power uh, uh, in the f in the hives even further. Um, uh, if I have chosen better the pairings, uh, maybe they would have been more balanced. But uh, since they are not, uh, this is what I'm doing. I'm I'm taking uh, uh, frames of cap brood from the bigger hives and give them to smaller hives. Thank you very much for uh, watching me and uh, thank you for following me. Until the next uh, movie, um, have a nice time in your apiaries and uh, uh, good luck with uh, the current situation in the, in the world. Stay, uh, stay at home and uh, be healthy. Keep in touch. Bye-bye.